here we have inserted the venturi model in the test section and we can open the ventilation valve so that uh, we have bottles and you can see the flow let me do that okay now we have bottles here we can see that as water goes through the venturi and the cross-sectional area reduces, the flow velocity increases. That's the whole purpose of the venturi geometry. We have the maximum velocity at the middle where we have the smallest sectional area and we have a high velocity jet forming. If we take a look at the exit of the test section, let me see, let me zoom in at the exit. Higher. right here we can see that there is a circulation flows forming at the exit here the flow is circulating and also here that's because the high velocity jet hits the walls at the end of the, the test section and has nowhere else to go so it's forced to circulate before exiting through the exit pipe at the at the back this obviously involves a lot of wasted energy because of the unnecessary circulation, right? If we were to design a geometry for a high speed flow, like a, say a jet engine inlet, we would want to avoid such things. We can also see that right at the exit of the Venturi itself, the flow is detached from the left wall, but it stays attached to, to the right wall. I'm talking about this area here. We have separation and the flow is circulating on the left wall but on the right the flow is actually attached to the wall it doesn't separate why is that okay so once the flow detaches from one of the walls due to adverse pressure it forms a circulation region in this circulation region the flow velocity is low and according to Bernoulli's equation the pressure is high this high pressure then pushes the rest of the flow not to detach from the other wall. So here the flow near the left wall detaches and, and forms a high pressure circulation region. And you can see that the flow circulating. Velocity is low, pressure is high. And this high pressure pushes the flow on the right not to detach. Now which wall detaches first is completely random and it depends on the small turbulences in the inlet velocity and also on the small differences in the geometry of the walls. Because remember, the walls are not completely symmetrical. Okay, here I will stop talking so you can draw a sketch of what you see. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Let us zoom back on the Venturi itself. And, it's, and it's sketch the flow in the venturi itself, not just the exit. Okay. 